what's going on YouTube thank you guys so much for joining me on yet another video and in this video we're gonna be talking about hated versus RVG in a quick tournament that happened three days ago uh, actually an interesting thing was we ended up versing RVG in the first tour ended up losing I think it was one or two and then on the fourth tour when we got bumped up to verse them again we beat them 2-0 on Rockfield so just wanted to quickly show you I do have two games but to keep things uh, short and sweet I'm just gonna go ahead and show you one game in which I played the E5 so let's get it rolling and if you as always if you guys enjoy make sure to like and sub for more so as you can see here we have uh, not everybody from hated we have a couple of people from doomed as well we have Wolf King chocolate uh, Kurod, Toxic, Urgle, me, and Andrew. So we have three guys from Doomed. The RVG team has their full team as well. So this was a pretty interesting game in a sense that the IS4s did what they were supposed to, as did the E5s. Um, we did get in a quite a bit of a brawl at the very end of the game, but um, so I was calling for uh, Hated, of course, and. Um, and it was a relatively newer strat for this map in particular for hated second team so therefore not a lot of people knew um, what's going on and it was just a little bit unorganized with uh, a lot of the doomed guys not knowing exactly the positioning of where the tanks uh, were supposed to head uh, but nonetheless the game was really fun um, i was calling and i was very nervous in a sense that i wanted to win this game pretty badly um, you know, nobody actually went to see this game, which was really interesting to me because a lot of times teams focus on C alongside with potentially even sending somebody to A to quickly cap it, mostly being a light tank. So uh, at this point, you see Chocolate saying B, and I did start calling for B to be one of our points, since if you notice, uh, we had an IS-4 that was isolated, which uh, was Cool Rod. Now he was he was just holding his position, so that's why they were not pushing, um, even though they could have taken advantage of that. Then we see their IS-4 peak, gets a couple of shots in, drops half of his health. I did get off of B, I probably should have stayed to cap it, uh, but I was just so worried that we're going to start pushing the right side, I just wanted to kind of get in front. But now as you'll notice, we're already a tank down, we had Urgle go down with his Leo 1, I was able to put one in on the Fosh, overextending, and so even though we are down a tank, we are doing pretty good health wise. So then I start calling for the WZ. They made a mistake in a sense that they pushed the um, the least armored tank out of the, the four tanks they have there into the very front of the fight. And so we all just focused them out real fast and it's already at 2-1 for the score. We do have another tank that goes down but their IS-4 which was the call at 897 now gets shot by me and gets finished off uh, shortly thereafter. Now I was the call for their team so they were able to take me out as well but they took out the IS-4. So if you'll notice, if we go to somebody else here, you'll notice Andrew was uh, kind of getting shot by the Vickers, but put one in on his rear with an HE. Again, the IS-4s are still brawling. We are now in a big advantage in a sense that we are bleeding their IS-4s out completely. Um, the Vickers is trying to put a few shots in as well. Um, there you go. So it's now 5-4, it's 3v2. But if you'll notice at the lineup, we have three heavies versus one heavy and a light tank. So the T-57 at that point was also on a reload which makes it extremely difficult for them to do much at this point given that Vickers even though he has good DPM he does not have the best positioning in that in that situation so um, at this point again the heavy goes down our heavies are still very solid <laughs> I was actually telling Wolf King who was in the very front to continue moving forward without realizing that he was tracked um, but nonetheless he, uh, he, you know, he fixed his track, continued going, and at this point we noticed that he stepped on B for the Vickers. So he just put one in, and then at this point, the other IS-4 stepped in as well, and the game ended again shortly thereafter. Wolf King was just on a reload, puts one in again, finishes off the Vickers, and the game ended. So, again, short and sweet game. It was a lot of brawling. We did lose a Leo very early in the game which I wish wasn't the case. I did go down very, very quickly as well. Soon after I got into the brawl, I did I did uh, probably make a mistake in a sense of me pushing too far. Should have maintained a little bit of distance, but this is one of those games that I kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, as you'll notice, you know, RVG did pretty good. Vickers did most damage, was able to put a lot of shots in while the heavies were brawling. Uh, Wolf King, again, 
wasn't the call so therefore he was able to do quite a bit of damage uh, also probably bounced quite a bit of shots um, so that being said unfortunately for Urgel he um, he did not survive as long as he wish you know as long as he probably wish he would have um, playing a Leo one in in, uh, in this map in particular is very difficult in a sense that um, once you get spotted since it's so small in size you will get focused out very quickly so if you're playing a light tank just keep in mind that you do have to maintain your distance play it extremely passively just be supportive of your heavies but don't be the one who's going into the brawl first right you always want to make sure you're third or fourth in the line maybe even even further so just depending on the situation uh, and after this we we did end up winning the the quick tournament for the night and um and that was a pretty good game for us so with that being said just a nice and quick short video hope you guys enjoyed as always if you did Make sure to like and sub for more, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.